Hey guys, this is Charlie from Charlie's Lost Whatever Adventures and welcome back to day 11 of the Twerp 12 Days of Christmas. Today we'll be taking a look at Rebel Moon Part 1 by Child of Fire. You, when a peace, useful settlement on the edge of a distant moon finds its uh, threatened by, by the ar armies of a tyrannical ruling force, a mysterious stranger live, living among its villages becomes um, their best hope for survival. Well, yeah, it's not every day where I have to read the main some um, um, to describe this movie. But, but once I get into my thoughts of the film, you'll have an understanding why. Hi. Uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's just me, but this year seems like to be the year of the part ones, one movie. Wow, we've had a lot, a lot of them released. <laughs> Easter shit. You. Yeah. Like with Fast X, Mission Impossible, they're reckoning part one. And, and, and Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. Uh, all, right, all three of these were read, uh, range from good to excellent. L and, and film. <laughs> Elms, in my opinion. Yeah. So, why does, does Rebel Moon Part 1 unfind itself? Well, after this one, I don't think I'm excited to see where Rebel Moon Part 2 goes. Oh. Oh. So, so, let, so let's start with the characters. Who are just really boring and bland? Like, it's hard to describe them. Granted, all the actors do really well with their performances here. Yeah, but, but, this, but the movie offers barely anything about these characters. Like, from what the film tells us, Cora is the... Cora is the... Oh, oh that is set... As the one to save her home. home. Titus is the old old man that raises her... her Atticus no, no, was the antagonist. Ganesh. And, and the rest look like good, good and, and nemesis. It's bl blood eggs, Kai, I and Jimmy. Me, me re really do, do feel like characters that are just there to aid Cora on a quest. The film barely offers us any character to development for them either, which makes it less interesting to follow them and harder to get invested with the film. Next, there's the story. And honestly, I've had a hard time just trying to describe the story. The story. Wait, I mean, it's simple, right? <laughs> but the problem is, it's just really difficult. Like, I can barely understand it. It doesn't help either that this movie is increasingly boring. Like, I didn't get any engagement out, out of the story whatsoever. Granted, a few action scenes were not even nice and a bit exciting. Thing, but for the most of the film could offer was just action scenes in, 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 to keep my interest. As the, the last not thing that the film's doing a good job, is it? Another thing that makes this film oh, hard to watch is how slow it is. It, 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 this film was just a few minutes over two hours, but it feels like it's going for a three hour time. I'm with the speed it's going at. And it's a, it made it hard for me to get invested, and there were many moments where I had to turn off the set and put something else on. And hence why I wasn't able to finish this film till today. The fact that two days to watch this film, it, is, it shows how hard it was to sit through. But, was it, but is there something I can say about this and that it's good? Well, visually this looks nice. I won't say that this is a visual marvel, but, but this is a good looking film. One thing that helps make this film stand, I know, that would have to be the world. Oh yes, it's pretty basic, but I want to know that the creativity of the world is definitely there. Not to mention that some of the CGI is alright. Right, and at least easy to look at. Even if there are a few shots that can feel odd at times. Another thing that I really, really made this film look really good was having to, to be 
in costume. They, they really do fit in with the type of world that this movie sat in. Making it even more engaging and exciting. But the true highlights of the visuals, and the things that were slightly enough to get me invested, would have to be some of the action scenes. They, they don't happen all the time, but when they do, they, they do help place in the movie with some strong on choreography yeah, that can make the moment oh, oh, it's quite intense and exhilarating. So overall, I'm sorry that this is a really short review, but I'm, I don't really have too much to say about this film. Ravel Moon Part 1 is just a pretty dull bland and feature to, with very little going for it. Granted, the visuals are alright, but it's not enough to hold back from a really dull story and generic characters. But of course, my best recommendation would be to just skip this one. There's not really much I just need to watch it, which is why I'm only giving this film a solid 4 out of 10. I think it's just safe to say that after this, I don't have too much anticipation for Rebel Moon Part 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for tomorrow for my very special conclusion to the 12 uh, Elf Days of Christmas. See you. Uh, until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.